Thank you for joining us today to celebrate this innovative project to improve the water quality in Lake Jessup. Protecting Florida's water quality and restoring our unique natural systems is not only the district's mission, but it's dear to the hearts of all of our partners and residents who are here with us here today. We're excited here to be here today to see this AECOM project in action. And I wanna thank St. John's for putting on this event today. But we also believe that these innovative technology investments are critical to our success as a state in keeping our waters healthy and able to be enjoyed by all Floridians and our visitors. We're here today at uh, Black Hammock Marina on Lake Jessup in Seminole County, showcasing our innovative technology for harvesting algae and moving nutrients from the water body. We had representatives from the Florida Senate, as well as the Florida House of Representatives here today, members of the Seminole County Board of County Commissioners, and we had a lot of stakeholders from the general public and the community who were interested in learning about this through the media event hosted by the St. Johns River Water Management District. We were able to take a tour that was offered by the Black Hammock Marina folks that kind of showcased some of the environmental attributes, the qualities of the things that the lake has to share with the people. Then we then went out to our barge that's located in the center of the lake where our treatment system is that actually takes water from the lake and then physically separates intact cellular algae from the water and then returns the clarified water back to the lake at the same time. With the process that we use, we actually physically separate the algae from the water column and thereby we actually export the nutrients from the water. Almost a hundred years ago, this lake was one of the biggest destinations for fishing there was. There were upwards of three, four, five fish camps out here. And as I was fishing this uh, in the 80s and 90s, uh, you started to see a degradation of the water. I'd like to thank the governor and the legislature for their commitment to this to make sure that we are doing everything we can with the latest technology possible to restore our pristine waterways to what it was when, when the folks were uh, coming here 100 years ago, making this the destination for their entire annual vacation. You know, people don't come to live in Florida. People don't come to visit Florida because we have great strip malls. It's our waterways, it's our green space, it's our wildlife. You know, it's one of those things that we recognize the problem uh, you know, that's always the first step in finding a solution. And the legislature certainly has been putting more and more resources, money, to be able to develop those solutions. And I think we have one with AECOM. I've been a captain on this lake for quite some time. Just over the past three years, though, I've seen drastic changes on this lake. This summer alone is the first time just in one week I saw five gators belly up. Just seeing somebody actually listen that this lake needs help is incredible. I grew up on this lake. This is my backyard and I just want to see her healthy. The important thing is, is that there's really not any time to, to lose. The, the longest journey, a journey of a thousand miles, begins with the first step and this would be one of those first steps. But I do want to take a moment and thank the community partners, those citizens that have lived here for decades, those families that grew up and are ingrained in the fabric of this county that have been advocating and pushing so hard on behalf of Seminole County and its residents, thank you all very much for the collaboration and working on our beloved lake.